William Chandler Bagley, the father of essentialism. William was born on March 15, 1874 to a William and Ruth Bagley in Detroit, Michigan. Just a couple years after his birth, the family moved to Massachusetts and William grew up in Massachusetts for most of his um, childhood years. Luckily, he was able to move back in 1887 with his family to Detroit and was able to attend high school. Um, he graduated in 1891 at the age of 17. He then decided that he wanted to pursue the agricultural field, and so he attended Michigan's um, Agricultural College, um, now known as Michigan State University, in the pursuit of becoming a farmer. However, after graduating in 1895, with a bachelor's degree, he found that he had no money and no land in which to become a farmer. So he decided to change his field of um, education. He took a job as a uh, school teacher in a one room um, schoolhouse in Garth, Michigan. He spent two years there, after which he decided that he wanted a, bigger, a higher degree. So he attended the University of Chicago for two years and then transferred to the University of uh, Wisconsin with, um, in hopes of receiving his master's degree in psychology, of which he did get in 1898. Just two years later, he received an amazing offer to attend uh, Cornell University and receive his PhD while studying under um, one of the well-known uh, uh, psy psychiatrists. Um, after he um, took a job as a principal in, the element in an elementary school in St. Louis, Missouri. Only after one year of being his principal, he left and uh, went to go teach at the Montana State Normal School, where he was um, a professor of psychology and pedagogy. Um, after four wonderful years in the cold state of Montana, he moved to New York and taught at their state norm school for um, three years, after which he learned um, he was given the uh, opportunity to be a professor and a director of school of the School of Education at the University of Illinois. So he moved. To, um, he, uh, while he was there, he founded the Kappa Delta Pi um, Honorary Society in Education. He wrote his first book. Um, while there, he uh, discovered that um, he he discovered that his uh, beliefs were that the um, that the physical sciences were essential were the essential knowledge that that students must acquire for their um, for, in their general culture. Um, he stayed there for eight years, um, and he wanted to develop a school of education. Um, in which to help teach future teachers um, be able to get a, uh, a, a full um, cultural experience in the education field. Um, however, the building in which he had he wanted to have built was was completed in 1918. However, this was one year after he left the University of Illinois. Um, he was given the opportunity um, as his final um, profession to be a professor of education at the Teachers College at the Columbia uh, University in 1970 and remained there until he retired in 1939. Um, while he was at uh, Columbia University, he wrote um, most of his books, um, which count to the number of 30, and wrote uh, over 400 uh, journal articles and edit or editorials on education, um, the professional education, and all the other, the other aspects of education. Um, after retiring in um, 1939, he was um, working on an editorial when he died in 1946. And to this day, he is still remembered as a fighter, um, untiring fighter of professional education and was a um, great supporter of uh, the as both, a both, uh, both aspects of the pr uh, progressive um, 